y'all, it's VJ. It's Jane. And this is... A sip. And a shot. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Listen, y'all. We've been doing this thing. Okay, we were supposed to record probably about an hour ago. What else? Not even... Yeah. Not even an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> there was a I lot said going down. on. Yeah. But we, we're here. Yeah. We're going to figure out the rest later. Yep, we're doing it. Um, <sighs> we're back, friend. Yeah. This and we different. are, are we going to do, okay, we always do this. I don't know why. <laughs> no, we need to like figure out what our order is. It's like shot, topic, sip. sip. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Well. Cheers to the good. Hold on. You didn't oh. tell them what the shot was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly I've been waiting to drink. Been waiting. Now the drinks have been ready for a couple hours. Yeah. The drinks have been ready since about I feel like six I'm yelling. Sorry it's guys. Nine. Oh, nine. Yeah, I'm definitely yelling. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. So the shot is Ghostbuster. Not the Ghostbuster shot. I don't know if you can see it. They look gross. They look disgusting. Yeah, you'll have to check them on our Instagram for the pictures. Um. Once again, I don't really want to drink it. Once again, her idea. <laughs> that was not my idea. That was your idea. No, it was not. You're the you... one that put it in there. No. You found the shot. I didn't no, find the I did shot. Not. This is not the shot I was say I wanted to take. I said it would be a good shot, but I didn't suggest the shot. You did suggest no, the shot. No, I did. Yes, you did. Okay. Do you want to know? I think mine was like graveyard or something like that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, we're drinking it. We are. You're so. drinking it. You want to tell us tell them what's in it? The okay. The shots that VJ made today <laughs> have Midori, which is a melon liqueur. It's not Midori. It's just melon. Oh, melon yeah. liqueur. <laughs> it's um, not Midori. And uh, peach knobs. Peach knobs and uh, some vodka. Yeah, with some Baileys dropped in dropped there to give it the oofy, spooky season. Ghostbuster. Ghostbuster. Because this is our like fall and spooky season cocktail. Yeah, we're in October now, officially. Um, we only have three more. <laughs> it's spooky season. So let's we gotta, say, okay, since I chose the first one, you got to choose the next one. Okay. Sip or shot. And then we also, so I like how we did a full cocktail, which yeah. we'll explain later, and then a little mm-hmm. sip. Our shot is um spooky. All right, so you ready to take the shot? I don't, I really don't what's going it. down my throat. I need you to just drink the whole shot. This is what they're here for. <laughs> <laughs> they're ready. <laughs> they want to see you drink. They want to hear you drink. The last time, I just feel like it's going to clump in the back of my throat and I'm going to be pissed. I need you to wipe that out your mind. Take it like a blowjob shot and just throw it back. Blowjob shots don't get clumpy. At the well, moment. they have whipped cream. You got to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. not the hard part. All right. Whatever. All right. We'll figure it. We'll go from there. Cheers to the good. Cheers to the bad. Cheers to all the things we wish we, we had. had. <laughs> Sorry. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You know what VJ just did? <laughs> You heard, you heard his cheers. You heard the taps of the glasses. I put my shot to my lips. She acts like she's putting it to hers. And then sits there and looks at me. So I was saying how you were going to take it. Okay. I'm, take it like a regular shot. Round two. Cheers to the good. You're disrespectful. No. <laughs> cheers to you actually taking the shot. <laughs> nope. Tap it. See Melon liqueur ain't my thing. <coughs> I'll say that. So the initial was clump, but at the bottom, but the bottom wasn't. That's what yeah, I thought was open going. your throat. Like and I like to, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know that'll that'll get you past any clumpiness. Shut up. I mean, okay. I'm just saying. And our sip today it's this really cute little fall and it's featuring our favorite drink Hennessy. Hennessy. yeah it's called a one night stand um you cannot wait to introduce this damn topic <laughs> <laughs> we we're actually wait. supposed to do the topic first before we did the drink but whatever um oh, well, let's get the topic all right so our topic is ghosting, ghosting. <laughs> and uh other. Uh, all other terrible dating trends. <laughs> and we'll explain all of that later. But, yes. so that's where the Ghostbuster came from. Yeah, that's we're talking Ghostbuster. about ghosting today. Um, and then kind of, you know, back, piggybacking off of cuffing season, 
um, or trying to you know, get y'all hip because we weren't hip to some of these things. Um, Let's wait. Yeah, we'll wait. we'll wait. But what I'm going to say is uh, our one night stand kind of falls in with some of these <laughs> things. And cuffing season, you never know what you're going to get this fall. Um, you might fall in love or you might fall into somebody's bed and then back out in the morning. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that is it's a it. win-win. It's Either a win-win. It's a win-win. You know, win-win. We don't judge here. This is a safe space. Safe soup. Do what safe. you want to do. Okay. But, you know, you uh, set yourself up with a one night stand, y'all. The drink. Um, and, like, the, and for real, and not just the drink. There's know, nothing wrong with a one night stand as long as you're safe. Exactly. Just and your girlfriends know where you are, or your guy friends. I don't know how guys do one night stands. Just don't blame us. <laughs> <laughs> don't bring it here. <laughs> I'd love to hear about it, but don't bring the attitude here. Okay. Well, cheers. cheers, darling. Good for usual. It kind of tastes like a, a sidecar. Yeah, I wish it was cold. Yeah. So I also made a sugar orange zest to on top of the vodka. Yeah, this was this recipe was found off of Pinterest, um, and it had like orange zest and sugar rim. So Vife was kind enough to do that. Her face, the face, the face. I'm trying to like taste everything. Taste all the notes. Yeah. In the drink. Anyway, so we're talking about ghosting. Yes. Um, uh, We've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but mm-hmm. we felt like October is the best time to talk about it. Play on words, guys. We <laughs> gotta be creative sometimes. <laughs> okay, so give us your definition of ghosting, Jane. Um, My definition of ghosting is when you're talking to somebody mm-hmm. and they disappear. Period. Period. Okay. Um, You know, I kill people off in my head when I'm done dealing with them, uh-huh. especially if they're trash individuals um do you tell them that you're killing them off or does it kind of stay in your head and um your actions follow that it all depends on the situation okay so if they disappear they ghost oh you you're dead and gone like you're dead to me usually now that i'm an adult um i (laughs) tell people like oh i don't see this going anywhere like, we could be friends, or let's just leave it where it's at. Okay. And then they no longer exist to me. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's ghosting. You that's disappear. ghosting for you. Just dis- Okay. They I fall off like, the yeah. side of the earth. And you don't, like, you fall, there's no response. And... Yeah, they just disappear. Have you, so you've ghosted someone before? Um, maybe when I was in, like, college. I haven't ghosted anybody as an adult that I'm aware of. Um, Are you aware of somebody I'm I don't think so. You know, normally I'm just You like, just seem like the type that would ghost somebody. No, I tell them about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little shady, Veronica. It's like, no. Every day's getting warm and the sea's yeah. taking its toll. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell people about I tell people about themselves. Like I don't see this going nowhere or I feel no, like it's not what I need right now. I feel like I've ghosted. Mm-hmm. I feel like there could be a mutual ghosting. Yeah, so I think ghosting to me is when one person reaches out and the other person does not doesn't respond. Doesn't respond, so you get ignored. Yeah. So it's like, if nobody's reaching so out... So what's like, if you don't reach out and I don't reach out... That I don't think that counts as ghosting. I think that counts as I think ghosting. you're just done. I think it... Okay. I kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. I like that definition because... Yeah. I, someone told me that I ghosted a person, mm-hmm. but I didn't think I did. Yeah. If they don't hit you up, I don't think that's ghosting. You guys, okay, so. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, I think if, I mean, y'all can agree to disagree, disagree, whatever. You mm-hmm. tell us what you think. But I think if, so like, if you two, you go out, and at the end of the night, you go your separate ways, and nobody hits each other up, it's like, you know, y'all just went back to your homes and you went about your business. Okay. It's like a mutual, like, all right, that was cool, but I'm good. She's good. He's good. Whatever. So what if you went out, mm-hmm. you chit-chatted, mm-hmm. you went out again, mm-hmm. you chit-chatted, you kind of made plans to see each other, uh-huh. but... Nobody followed up? No. You didn't answer the question to follow up. See, there, there, uh, that might be ghosting. 
it, it all comes down to the nitty gritty, the facts of the thing. So, okay, so you went out, you guys set up a potential outing, like, oh, we should do this again. And that was it. Or it was like... Are we talking in general or are you talking about me personally? I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let me say this. Because I, I was talking to a co-worker of mine. Mm -hmm. And I was explaining to him about this guy I met. And um, how I hadn't really talked to him mm -hmm. in a while. And he said, well, look through your messages and who sent the last message. And it was him. Mm-hmm. And what was... The message was it a question for you to respond to or was it just like okay <laughs> oh you <laughs> might have, you might have ghosted him i, I mean, he might not have visited your grave but <laughs> you might have ghosted him i think it was like it, what i was explaining to him because he was like you go he told me i ghosted him ghosted him because too much time had went by because mm -hmm. it's like oh i'll just i'll text him back later or i'll yeah. confirm later and then you never did. And I never did. But not purposely. But I think, and this is why I say it's accidental ghosting. Because <laughs> I tried self-reflection. Okay. I try to plan the entire, like I like to yeah. make the story up in my head how the entire, like, and I always what say, happened. Don't do that. Well, I did it. But she don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. So it's just like you got. Sometimes you got. You got. You don't have to know where that. You know the road ends. That's I, part like, of the I, journey. Well, you're right. I know. <laughs> you're never I know. You know. Okay. Well, let me give the story. Okay, give it. So this was my first mm -hmm. time out. Mm -hmm. This is my first date. I call it yes. a date. Since breaking up with my former beau, as I like to call him. Mm -hmm. And I was super nervous because this was like my first date in like what three and a half. Four she sure years. was. She was like, "What do we do? What do I say? What happens? <laughs> who goes in first? Yeah, like, who what happens?" I'm like, "Yo, friend, bring it. Relax." First I don't all. know if I'm dressed correctly. Is my hair okay? Oh my well, like, gosh. what happens if this? Ha you know, I was so nervous. I was green. Yes. But it turned out to be a really great date. Yes. Like we had, he was handsome. We had a good time. We went to a second location. And mm -hmm. in my head, if you go to a second location, like a second little bar. You having a real good time. The night's going pretty well. Yes. I think, did I have weed in my hair? Yeah. That was really long. Did I? What did I have in my hair in January? Braids. Braids. Cause you know when your hair is long, you just you know when you got you the long, you, you, you feel yourself your hair just swinging. You know, different hair lengths give different vibes. <laughs> so I remember. And then we set, we, um, I think we set another date mm -hmm. and something happened where I couldn't go. Yeah. But then I went out with a girlfriend and I asked him if he wanted to come and he was like, yeah. So he met us, had a good time, chit chat, whatever, what have you. So then it was like, oh, well maybe like the conversation of going to each other, that's where the yes. issue was. The conversation of coming to each other's houses. Yes. Really like threw me for a loop it sure did <laughs> <laughs> but i didn't know how to say that it threw me for a loop because that's that's for me that's like i need to know where that story is gonna end okay and when you say you need to know where that story is gonna end what do you mean exactly for our viewers i mean listeners both <laughs> what do you mean does it mean like I it's about the, you boom chicka wow wow bam chicka wow wow. Yeah, I didn't know if like the assumption was it was gonna be like boom chicka wow wow. I didn't know like if it is if that is supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Like A is it supposed to happen? B if it is supposed to happen is it, where is it supposed to happen? If you don't want it to happen, like well of course if you don't want it to happen, he's like you know I'm not really okay. checking for this. Yeah. But then you're also like in your home by yourself with someone you don't really know. Yeah. Um. And then it's like, if I go over there, so it's like, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't have him come over here, but if mm -hmm. I go over there, what's what? supposed to happen? He had just moved, mm -hmm. and I just couldn't, like, and I think the only place to have a seat would have been his bed, and I didn't know, like, how that was supposed to, like, <laughs> like you know how you see <laughs> the memes are, like, on TikToks, where it's like, the girls go in, and the girls always sit on the but, corner of yeah, the bed, but, like, sorry, like, I don't know. It's okay. like, no, you can sit all the way. It's like, no, I don't want to lay in your bed. I don't want to do none of that. Because as we mentioned before, there are steps <laughs> that we have noticed, picked up from the men's, the boys. It's in part A to part F. 
and I just didn't know. What? I didn't know how that, and I wasn't comfortable enough to say, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah. So I, I just think instead of answering that question or like confirming those plans, mm-hmm. I just didn't. Did <laughs> I just. I was like, hopefully the conversation will pick up. And it didn't. Elsewhere. And, so it just, it, and then it got too far, and I was like, you should just explain yourself. But then it's like, do you really want to explain yourself to somebody who you don't really know? Like, he was nice. He was cool. But you weren't interested, for real. You you said that before. I think I could have been really interested in him. But you, okay, could have been, but you were not <laughs> <laughs> really interested in him. I don't think I for real. Did. Well, why do you say that? Because I feel like you act different when you're really interested in somebody. Like, all the... I feel like if you're really interested in somebody, you kind of do the, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? But instead of a, I'm not going to respond, it's a, well, I'll just say this. And because you still want to keep the conversation going or I'll pivot. But there was no adjustment in order to. I didn't know how to, but I don't, I hadn't made a decision. And I do believe this. Like you have to make a decision for yourself Mm -hmm. first. And I hadn't made that decision for myself yet. So, but I think if I had like, me, oh my god, what'd you say? I was, you were like, oh my god. I don't think you I was, oh my god, over anybody, though. I don't, I, at the time, I wasn't, <laughs> oh my god, over anybody. <laughs> I, was like, oh. I don't think I was, oh my god, over anybody at that time. No, not at that time. Just oh, like, you mean, I mean, like, oh, you mean, right? like, in general? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean. Oh my god! Awkward. Oh yeah, I was. No. I was like, what? If it's who you think, if it's who I think you're talking about, yeah. I was, but I also didn't have any like, what ifs? What am I supposed to do? It was really like, All right. okay, exactly. That's why I said you did. I know you were really like, <laughs> I didn't know what the rules were. I didn't there know are no the rules. rules. There are rules. There are no rules. <laughs> anyway. You do what's best for you. That's the only rule. I think that's the only person I've quote-unquote ghosted everybody else that was it like, <laughs> like no i'm good yeah i remember it was <laughs> he was like you know when are we gonna see each other again i'm like never no. <laughs> i was like well why not set up we don't really need to see each other and yeah, do yeah. what talk i'm you know yeah i'm good oh maybe i did ghost somebody during quarantine you ghosted someone during quarantine i think so you know that guy okay so i went out you definitely ghosted him that's what we said last week. You, yeah. I go to them. Because you okay. did make plans. I did and not did. make plans. Y'all were supposed to go out like the next week. No, we weren't. Yes, you were. We did not make plans. You really liked them. Y'all, was you really said cool. it was really good. It was a really cool day. It was fun. Like, I had a good time. And you just never to to. hit him up. Yeah. I mean, he hit me up were, and I was like. Because you no, weren't interested. Got that right. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> I do not deny that. I don't know. Yeah, that's. Now, have you been ghosted? Have I been ghosted? <clears throat> Knowingly? No. <laughs> how, okay. <laughs> how have you been ghosted unknowingly? I, I don't. You haven't. Because <laughs> I feel like if you're ghost, I feel like if you're ghosted, you know. I like blocked it out of my, you know, like certain oh, things. Like, yeah, it didn't blocked it out of your mind. And since you're not the friend who asks, like, how so and so doing, I probably didn't. Did I get? Go- I think I did get ghosted. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. About who? Give me a nickname. Come on. Look lounge. Oh yeah. Another one of those like make he made plans, but I made plans with somebody else, and yeah, that somebody never, else stuck around. And you never told him, so you made plans with somebody else, so you ghosted him. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I I what? asked to reschedule. Okay. I didn't just, like, not show up. I just said, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it. Can we reschedule? Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, it's not a problem. Just let me know when. And you never let him know when. Well, no, because at that point, I was 
<laughs> Head over heels. Head over heels. Ooh. <laughs> really feeling it. it. Have you been ghosted? Yeah. Actually, I was going to say yes, but I think the term that is appropriate mm. is... Wait. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> let us let me introduce this part. So, while we were looking up ghosting... um. <laughs> While we were looking up ghosting. <laughs> While we were looking up ghosting, I was like, well, what other terms are out there? Because we had heard of zombieing. Yes. And so I'm like, well, what, what else is out there? So, yeah. you know, we had to do a little bit of research. And my favorite thing called Google. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing that came, so we looked up zombieing. And mm-hmm. that's basically where you're dating someone, and they ghosted you, or you ghosted them. And then um, after you've gotten over everything, then they come back. Yes. And that is what I was going to say, that happens it happens happening happened happens, happened i feel like it's still happening <laughs> based off today's I do little too, and I'm apple ready, watch notification i'm ready for you to ghost him completely uh, like, yeah that's where we're at right now <laughs> like <laughs> and I, I you know i hope you're listening because <laughs> like, this, this might wow. be your fair warning um be careful with me <laughs> sorry <laughs> I was like, you're, he's, he's zombieing. He has before. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 But with, like, the reasons given previously. Were enough for you to allow him to zombie. Yeah. It was like, okay, I understand that. Okay, I understand that. But you, you, you zombie for a third time, so you ain't coming back. Was this, was this, this be this, the third this time? This will be three. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. Yeah. No, you did. You Dead and gone. You ain't okay. You ain't got nothing. I'm trying to think. Have I zombied anyone? Has look lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Back again. <laughs> look lounge. I told you you just followed me on um TikTok. On TikTok. Yeah. How did he find you on TikTok? Of know. all things. Well, I guess. Does he follow you on Instagram? Yeah. Oh. So I guess like if you see the TikTok video, you'll see the name. Name. But still. But he's not like don't follow me and not speak to me. Isn't he like forty? I don't think, bitch. I don't think he's forty. <laughs> no, I think he's like. Just... No, I think he's like mid thirties. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to make sure you're calculating for like when you met him. And yeah, the age I am. you were. I am. I am. Because okay. I was what twenty two, three. Good God. Yeah, it was a long time. It was a long time ago. For those that don't know, we're twenty nine now. And I was cute then. Cute now. I'm cute now, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and at the time, I thought he was he was under 30. Okay. So, he's probably, like, late 30s. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Hey. I feel like one of our friends is talking to someone who's close to 40, so. That's fine. You get, a, you get to an age, it don't matter no more. It really doesn't matter. I remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Random. So, uh, I don't, we, this is something we didn't talk about in the name like, did you take this number, girl, episode? Uh-huh. Fake Remember, names. Yeah, fake names. Big Daddy. Mm. Big Daddy. Um, with somebody who I was cool with. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you, like, swallow it too quick? And you're like, ooh. <laughs> um, Big Daddy. Yeah, and I remember the first time, like, I went over to, like, we met out somewhere. Okay, I had a, I had has a thing for people that are really tall, and mm-hmm. he's like six eight. Mm-hmm. Um, and I met up with him afterwards, like after we exchanged numbers. I was like, "Yeah, I'll come over to your place or whatever. We'll watch a movie, whatever." And it was cool. We never nothing ever happened between us. You always just, said that, which was so weird because you always spent time with him. Yeah, he was so nice. He was super nice. You know, I would stay there. This is back in college, so I would like stay over there because he had attitude if I left Ugh. and he never tried anything no I think one time he tried and I was like nah I'm good and he was like okay and then that was it and then we kept hanging out afterwards <laughs> but I remember it being like 21 and I went over to his house and he I was like oh he's like how old are you and I was like 21 I was like and you're like <laughs> he was like I'm, I'm 27 or something like that I was like <laughs> what <laughs> he was like what how old did you think i was and i was like i don't i don't know but it wasn't 27 but it wasn't sure how was it 27 like i don't i wasn't how would you think he was like 25 24 i guess so maybe because i met him at like 
Oh, of Lamar. The, oh, he's on the corner. That's CVP. Oh, my gosh. Tuesdays. Two for Tuesdays at Rec Room. Rec Room? Yeah. I think I met him at Rec Room. And so I thought he was, like, college, you know. <laughs> that 18 to 22. 18 to 22 <laughs> age 21 range. to 22, 23 yeah. range. Oh. Yeah, I thought he was, like, you know. Oh, I knew he was probably older than me, but not that much older. And I was like, well. He earned his name Big Daddy. He did. He took very good care of me. That sounds inappropriate, but I know it's not. Cause I it's not. He was not a sugar daddy. He was just a very nice man. And, you know, if I was, like, you know, need anything, he was there to help me out. We would get some food every once in a while. But watch movies, watch TV. He was a good companion. He was. He was. We went he over was. to his house for the Super Bowl. We did. Like, even Years after we, left, we graduated. <clears throat> yep. And I just talked to him the other day on Instagram. So. Okay, so other dating trips. Oh, yeah. He did tell me that. Mm-hmm. Other dating trends. Are, and these, mind you, were things that we really didn't hear of mm-hmm. prior to. So we had to make sure we had them down. We had to make sure we talked about them. Yeah. Submarining. Yes. Have you heard of that? Uh, no. Okay. Submarining is when you stop seeing someone and cut off all communication and then reappear after some time and act like nothing happened. I feel like that's similar to zombieing. zombieing. But in zombieing, do you um converse about where they went? Um, hold on now, cause I'm not I'm not changing what he does what he did did. Okay. Um, yeah. Hold on. So hold on, zombieing okay. is where someone you previously dated or very likely cared for <clears throat> or were even in a relationship with ghosted you only to then resurface sometime later, most likely in the form of some sort of social media interaction mm-hmm. or an out of the blue text message. Yep. Usually happens just when you've gotten over the hurt and having them ghost you in the first place. Then all of a sudden they sud- sub sub subtle suddenly suddenly <laughs> gonna say sub subtly reappear i say subtle it can feel like a slap in the face causing more emotional upset has it caused you more emotional upset yes yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> so it, it still stands yeah have you submarine have you been submarine uh how long i wonder how long you need to uh-huh. like reappear because um, I think I asked you, I was like, I should just hit him up, right? And you're like, no. No. <laughs> just leave it alone. <laughs> um, yeah, now I'm trying to figure out about crazy pants. Like, what does that qualify as? My crazy. on my block pants. On my block list. The only one person on my block list because he crazy. That crazy? Yeah. Okay. Not my ex crazy, but. He wasn't your ex crazy. That yeah, no. one. Yeah, the mother yeah. one is crazy. Okay, breadcrumbing. Ooh. Um, grab. Bread, oh Jesus, this drink. Yes, this drink, sis. <laughs> um, bread coming is the act of sending out flirtatious but non-committal social signals, um, as in breadcrumbs, um, in order to lure a romantic partner in without expending much effort. So that's like liking the pictures, like when you like all their pictures. Yeah, I think it's or like... like send a reaction on them. Um... Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, hey, I kind of like you, I might like you, but I'm not going to do nothing about it. And I don't really need you to do anything about it, but, you know. Well, if you're leaving breadcrumbs, you want them to follow and eat yeah, the crumbs and come to the big slice of bread. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I guess technically you're right. I'm just saying. <laughs> follow my lead. I'm just saying. Okay, the next one is mermaiding. <laughs> and I guess Rebel Wilson had a, um, mm-hmm. like a book or a, a show or something where she brought it up. And that's casually moving on from these two. Oh, Rob <laughs> mentions mermaiding, which immediately causes a double take. It's like when a girl goes out with a guy to a boardwalk and then she gets really bored with the date. So she just goes into the ocean and you never see her again. So it's like while you're on the date, you leave the date. Wow, that's rude. <laughs> I was like, is that ghosting again? But no, that's like you're no. actually on a date. That's one of those, the ones, I think the more popular ones on television is mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm going to run to the bathroom and then they never come back. And then they never come back. Have you done that? No. You know, I told my god sister, I have a younger god sister who's now 22 or 3. Mm-hmm. When she was starting college. Because you know those college dates. Pause. I finished my drink before VJ. Carry on with your story. <laughs> I would have, <laughs> but I was like, let me wait until we finish. No, whatever. Down the hat. In the video, you'll be able to see me like pick it up and say, well, wait. 
Yeah. Okay. And whatever. It still happened. It I counts. told her, I said, if you're ever in a situation, because when I think about the worst date I ever had in my life at the sushi spot. <laughs> with, the, with the foot massage and the singing. Yes. <laughs> Just for people that might have missed that, you know. When I think about that, mm -hmm. I wish, everything in my body wished I would have gotten up and left. Yeah. Like, just been like, you know what, I'm good, I'm out. So I told her, I said, if you're ever in a situation where you're ever on a date where you're either A, uncomfortable as hell. Yes. I.e. me. Mm -hmm. Or B, it's just not, the main one is uncomfortable. It'd be like, you want to leave. Yeah. Just say, you know what, I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. And listen, leave, drop 20 on the table because you ain't no, you know, drop some money on the table just so they like, mm, -mm. If you want to, yeah, sure. But don't feel uncomfortable leaving a situation. In any situation you're in, don't yeah. feel uncomfortable leaving. Just like, dip. Yeah, one good. of my, the podcast I listen to, my favorite murder, um, <laughs> little murder, you know. Um, water. <laughs> <laughs> their, one of their like phrases is fuck politeness. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, you don't have to be nice to somebody that makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Ever. And it's always those situations where it's, like, somebody makes you feel uncomfortable and you're, like, trying to get around the situation and be like, oh, well, you know, instead of just get the fuck back or leave. <laughs> well, that's, like, a double... This is gonna take a turn, but okay. we're not gonna stay on this. Especially, like, when you're going on dates. Because I remember when I was younger, and this guy was, like, following me, saying hi to me. And mm -hmm. I was, like, ran in the car to get in the car with my dad. And I told him about it. He was, like, okay. You're okay. I'm here. You're fine. Yeah. But next time, just say hello mm -hmm. and keep walking. So that way, like, you don't want them to get crazy yep. on you. But, so it's, like, you try, like, I understand folks being polite. There, in all the situations... It'll be... Is the person murdered in the end? <laughs> no, it'll be like people like that write into their people. podcast and are like, oh. I was in a situation where I was coming out of my building mm -hmm. and I saw it looked like something was, you know, like somebody looked like they were crouched down or they might have been hurt. But instead of checking on them, I just got in my car and kind of like drove off and realized that, that person got up as soon as I drove off. Mm. And it's kind of like, you could have done the polite thing and gone, but you trusted your instinct instead of trying to be the nice person and save the day. Um, or they have other situations where it's like, they're in situations where it's like a female and a guy and a guy is like being really aggressive towards them mm -hmm. or, oh, I can give you a ride. Oh, no, don't worry about it. You can ride with me and you're the only one riding with them and you're just like, I really don't feel comfortable with the negative attitude and you're like, bro no thank you yeah leave me alone now yeah i get that yeah I get that. so that's what they mean i i get it and i, and I think that just comes with age because when yeah. you're younger it's like oh but mm -hmm. now it's like li listen i really don't care back sir. up please <laughs> please <laughs> okay i like this one all right caspering um the act of caspering is someone or it means that you politely tell the person you are no longer interested before completely disappearing from their lives this involves disappearing sometimes out of the blue without telling the person why you're no longer interested. <laughs> I guess this is like the baby version of ghosting. Yeah. Well, it's nice. It's like... Cast for the friendly ghost. Yes. <laughs> it's like, hey, are we going to see each other again? No. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I don't really see this going anywhere. I'm so, good. like, don't look for... It. That's not like, don't ever text me again. It's like, don't look for a message from me or a response. Or don't ever text me again. That too. Yeah. But my way sounds nicer. You want to know why? Why? Because I'm the nice one. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and you're done. This one was inter interesting. This is called paper clipping. Mm -hmm. The pattern of behavior consists of dropping off the face of the planet after a few dates only to follow up months later to see if you'll still respond to their aimless questions. Paper clipping is a behavior based on Clippy, the Microsoft help tool known for popping up whenever you didn't need him. Yeah, back in the day. <laughs> and I feel like no longer around. I feel like this is like, you know what I kind of feel like this is? The future memes where it'll be like, oh, I hope you're well. You don't, Like, tell your mom. Especially around so, Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh -huh. But you yeah. don't have to respond. And it's like those questions or those messages that kind of like lead you to respond. Mm -hmm. Only because they seem innocent enough. Yeah, where it's like, oh, he's just being nice. In this actuality, you, you're 
here, we kind of fell into it because it's like, okay, I still have access to her. Yes. And then when you say, how's your mom? There's no response. There's no response. And you're just like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yeah, you know what? Don't worry about me. Now this is, uh, I like this one. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like this one goes with our cuffing season. It does. (laughs) Um, So the next one is cushioning. A dating technique where, along with your main piece, you mm-hmm. also have several cushions. Other people that you chat with, flirt with, um, to cushion the potential blow of your main breaking up and, you know, leave you alone. Leave you alone. Yeah. And, you know, that's basically building the team. Cuffing season. Yeah, that's, that's supposed to be for the tryouts and, you know, nobody gets invited to Thanksgiving because everyone can go to their own homes for yes. Thanksgiving. <laughs> You know, you got you need a little fallback. You know, your main joint busy, he acting wrong. You call up a cushion. Hey. Hey. If you like it, I love it. Yeah, if you want it, you claim it. I just <laughs> and Do you want do you want some cushions? <laughs> do I want some cushions? I always yeah. like having cushion. Do you? Yeah. Okay, so this is a thing where I'm confused. Not like when you say main joint, you mean like your ex you don't mean no, like you're exclusive. You're not ex- exclusive. So main joint is just he's number one. In the draft. Yeah, yeah, he's on draft but you list. You still need a whole team. Number one, yeah. Cause okay. If that's why I said okay. if you claim it, you, you okay. Yeah. But there's uh, people out here in this world who, who will be, be who don't want to be claimed, or you like things will be going great, like that meme where it's like I, this guy I've been dating for seven months just asked me why I'm still single, and you're like. <laughs> Excuse me, and that's I feel like those are the things that make your eye twitch. Like, uh, like yeah. excuse, we we have been dating for we, seven months. We go together. You are my man at this point. Like I don't understand what you're missing, but you're my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you are him. Well, and, let me ask you that: if someone say, if a man does say that to you, do you is he your boyfriend? Or what do, do you mean if he asks why I'm still single after we've been after dating seven months? Yeah. He's not my boyfriend. I'm like, oh, I have one. I just spend time with you when he act up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jane. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you're the side piece. I'm, like, I'm sure I'm your side piece. You have other bitches. Yeah, you get you get some answers. It's not gonna be a great conversation. You're probably gonna go home and cry afterwards. <laughs> but I mean, who him or you? You you've been dating that man for seven months. You thought this was going somewhere, and all of a sudden he come up if he, and be like. Okay. Why are you still single? That's yo. No, your feelings gonna get hurt, but he ain't gonna see you. Oh, that that's something you go home. Yeah, <laughs> you don't go to his house and cry. Uh, no, but you have to be honest and say, wait, I thought we were together. I thought we were building something. You can't say no. together. I thought we were building something up. No, you know what this goes back to? I think we talked about this in like a social media episode. How men's <laughs> and this is why they, this is probably why my guy friends don't listen. Um, <laughs> male bashing all the time. I don't say we male bashing. We, we don't. definitely don't. Um. But it's like in situ, like a guy or some females will let Thank you do females. But go ahead, women. Thank you. Um, will let you do anything, everything for them, and you know you're. It seems like you're building together. Like, oh, we'll get a house together. We'll have kids together. But they'll never put a ring on it. Like mm-hmm. you don't claim it. You think it's a relationship, but you common law married at <laughs> some point. Um, yeah. And that's because you make the assumption that things are going the right way. So you should have a conversation early on. If that's what you want. I agree. Period. I agree. But get them cushions, y'all. Okay. Listen, especially Have a little fall back, back plan. <laughs> you can fall back onto some cushion. That's okay. your fall back. Period. Okay, the last one we have is called mosting. Mm-hmm. Mosting is when someone goes overboard on the fluff job and then vanishes. It's not just someone being complimentary and flattering. It's someone faking being totally smitten when they aren't. Yeah. So that's, that's like never happened. No, it's you know the people that are. I know exactly who you're talking about. Who like text you all the time? Who call you all the time? Oh my God, you're so beautiful. How yes, come? you're amazing. <laughs> and it's like the sun just shines. They sing you songs. Yeah, <laughs> you're like you're. Like, I e y do not do artists. <laughs> yeah, I'm like and we're done with. You're for a rapper or a singer. Please leave me alone. <laughs> oh, unless, and then you don't hear anything from them. Unless you're famous. Unless your music has already popped. <laughs> You know what the beginning I'm not, you know, been there, done that, no need to go back. Got a t-shirt. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't, so I'm good. You yeah, know, those type of people that do the absolute most. And then it's like, once you show interest, they're like, okay, that was fun. 
And done. And we're done. Yeah. I mean, I like the guys who do the most. But are consistent. But are consistent. Yeah. Not vanish. Yeah. I'm trying to think, do I? No, I don't do that. I don't. My ego is too. I've never had anybody do that to me either. Yeah. Do the most and then disappear? No. Oh, no. Do the most and then kick the curb? Yeah, Yeah, I was going to (laughs) say. You had guys do the most who just fawn over you and all they want to do is spend time with you and do things for you and you're just like, this is a no. Yeah, it's a no. And that's the first summer plans. What? Anything else you want to add? Oh, well, let me ask this follow-up question oh, since Lord. cuffing season came out. I wanted to ask uh, you this earlier, but I was like, you know what? Oh, okay. No. Are you being cuffed this season? <laughs> I think we talked about this last time. I don't see it. <laughs> don't Today, see it. you don't see it? No. I might have some cushion. Oh. <laughs> Additional cushion. Okay. There it is. I think I, I, you might have added some cushion. You might have added some cushions to the... Yeah. Like more... A more... Be like... Cut. Stable cushion. Not like a seasonal throw pillow, but like... He he might actually be a part of the couch. Oh. <laughs> there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't, you don't listen to the podcast. And now the other ones listen to the podcast and you the my sister. So <laughs> or parents. So it, it is what it is. We're fine. We're fine. You know, I'm not blowing up my spot. I mean he's trying to get on the team and he said that, so fine. Well he's been trying to get on the team for a while, so Yep. He tried to get that number one spot. He's he's in the he's in the top three. But there I don't know that there's a one. <laughs> it's like a blank and then people. <laughs> All right, Charles. Or everybody's on the same level. <laughs> That might, yeah, that might really be. Everybody's in the, it's like a, a, a tree. <laughs> you know, you start at like a organizational chart. Uh huh. And everybody's workers. You're at the head. <laughs> yeah. It was like CEO, <laughs> director, empty, vacant, <laughs> mid level management, popping. All right. Well, well, y'all, it's VJ. It's Jane. And this has been a sip and a shot. Oh. Bye. Bye.